Hi everyone, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. I am Abraham Hashemi, and this is the first Fixed Focus program. In Fixed Focus program, we try to deal with the clean energies. In the first part of this program, we would deal with the flat solar concentrators. And we call it a flat dish. Let's continue the program. Making a flat dish is very simple. Everyone can make it easily. It just takes care and patience. Accessories needed to make a flat solar dish. Gun glue. Glass cutter. A piece of soft metal wire. Glue sticks. LED laser pen. Mirrors of required size and good quality, 2 millimeter in diameter. Set a square. A 30 centimeter rod. A plate required for the flat dish. Two straps for cutting mirrors. Principle of making this flat dish is based on a laser radiation which is shown on the mirror from above and from there is transferred to the focus. Suppose the red line here, the same light that comes from above. It is a piece of mirror and from there a certain angle of the point of focus. Based on this we can all parts of mirror in each part adjust a later light to guide the focus. People who like the more detailed information have an article above download from fixedfocus.ir. The first step to prepare a flat dish, prepare a suitable plate for the dish. This base can be compressed foam or an aluminum plate which is also light or a compressed coated wooden plate. I use a compressed foam whose dimensions are square 25 centimeter and I use only for the presentation in this movie. One of the advantages of the flat dish when making it is that we can select focus anywhere on the screen and I want to put a focal point in the center of the page. Now I draw the square diameters. Therefore, the collision point is the center of the page. Now, based on the dim dimensions we have considered for the mirror parts, we divide the page. I have dimensions of the pieces for this page, 1.5 centimeter in the square. Now, on the one of the diameters with a ruler at a distance of 1.5, And used by the compass with dry circle. I have done this before. Now we go to install the base. I use a welding wire to install the base and first we heat it up. Then place it in the center of the compressed foam. The base must be perpendicular to the plate. And this must be done by a goniometer, should be used from both sides. Now the base is almost its own. Let's go to the next step. Well, I installed the base of the focus and it's very strong. For this work surface, 
I use a piece of stone that is a smooth surface. I use a thick strap and a thicker strap to cut the mirror. Attach the thick strap with the gun glue in the direction of the stone plate. Of course, we stick only one side of it. To attach the thinner strap, first place the mirror on the surface. Then we put a thin cardboard on the mirror. Why do you think I use a cardboard? Because after attaching the thin belt, the mirror can be easily placed under the belt. Now the distance between the two straps according to the distance adjust from the edge which is about 3 mm. Distance between two straps must be 1.8 cm to get pieces in 1.5. Now glue the thinner strap on the both sides. Okay, let's go cut the mirrors. In this section, we will cut the mirrors. Now we lift the cardboard so the mirror can move easily. Now we pass the mirror under the belt. We move the glass cutter attached to the strap. Be careful with your hands. Well, again. Try to use a good glass cutter diamond. We put the mirrors from the long side. It should be noted that try to use well quality mirrors. Now the pieces that are obtained are 1.5 cm in the square. I hope you know how to cut the mirrors with the simplest method. Let's go to the next step. At this stage, the work surface must be perfectly level. Here I have used a piece of stone facade. You can also use a large ceramic. Now align the surface with both transfers and longitudinal directions. I have already leveled this level by putting a thin sheet. The page should be smooth and without appendages. Now we place the dish plate on the, on the work surface. Well, let's go to laser installation step. To prepare lasers, we can use cheap lasers available in the market. I prepare self metal rod and bent it. And I connect the laser from the back. and I fix with the pliers. Now attach it to the ceiling with a screw. Let's go adjust the laser. Well, I just installed a laser wire on the ceiling. You might think it would be easier with a piece of yarn to hang it on the ceiling, but the laser on coordinated center of gravity does not allow us to do this. I punched a piece of cardboard in the middle. Of course, to turn the laser with a normal clothespin. Well, now the laser is on. There's a cardboard to make easier adjust laser beam. Now we try to put a soft wire on the position where the laser radiation from the mirror 
to the radiation which is located below it to be reflected back source. Laser radiation is not reflected to the laser itself. The laser is perpendicular to our worksheet. This adjustment must be repeated each time we turn a laser on and off. And the verticality of the laser is of particular importance. Let's install small mirrors. We are now sure that the laser is perpendicular. There should be no particles or appendages between the work surface and the dish plate. If we consider the bar as the base of the focus, all points of bar can be considered as the focus. Mark any point you like as the focus because the dish is small. I consider the focus of the distance 20 cm from the surface of the dish. I already marked this mark as a base of a focus. To make the mirror easier to install, fold a piece of cardboard in half and pass a wire through it. And now I pass the fold apart from the base of the focus. This helps a lot when you glue the mirror parts to not miss the laser or beam reflection. Well, now we want to stick the mirror on the disc screen. The circle that we have already drawn, we put the mirror on them according to the revealing circles. The middle circle of this is not very efficient, so we do not install mirror on it. Well, I glue the first circle first. Now install the first piece of mirror. You can see how much carbon helps and not lose your laser beam. There's not reflection on the focus. All maxed. Next mirror. Make sure the laser beam hits the center of the mirror. We can also use a pair of pliers. To set, install mirror on the last circle. I will continue to hold those mirrors. Now I glue the bigger circle and glue the mirror. The further away mirrors from the focal point, the greater angle from the surface of the dish. Well, I will continue to work. Now I have glued all the mirrors. It took about two hours. You can see there's no mirror in the center of the dish. Because the mirror below the center is particularly ineffective. And if I install it, it has a divergent state on the center. You can change the type of glue depending on the page you choose. Well, now let's go for the test in the sun. Well, now I want a dish in the sun. Let's try. I put a piece of cardboard in the focus. Let's see what the situation will be like. Because this is small and the sun is in the horizon, it does not have much power, and the wind does not allow the cardboard to heat up. However, it was able to generate good heat and burn the carver. We saw the dish in the sun. Of course, the dish is small. To make the focus of the dish more precise, we have to glue the mirrors carefully and use the smaller mirrors. The smaller the mirrors, the more focal accuracy. 
for a student in all who attend to make bigger dishes this way, be sure to go fixfocus.ir, refer to the related article, download and study flatbed solar dishes. Finally, all those who have ability to do this, please take a positive step toward clean energy and share their information with others in any way possible. If you have a question why the name of the program is Fixed Focus, this will be clear to you in future episodes. In the next program, we will talk about very convenient and exceptional method of making parabolic dishes. So goodbye until then.